Hello and welcome, I'm Oliver from microbehunter.com and today I'd like to unpack with you a nice little box which arrived, from, uh, which arrived today. I ordered it over eBay and we're gonna have a look at it, what's uh, in the box here. Okay, so first of all, let's take it out. I think I do not need to tell you that this is something microscopy related. In here we see a very nice uh, box uh, covered in blue satin. Looks valuable, a little bit like a, a jewelry box. Okay, let's have a look here. And when you open it, you see a lot of bubble wrap. I'm also gonna remove this one. And in here, uh, still a little bit difficult to see, you see the different parts of a microtome. This is a so-called hand microtome, or also known as a cylinder microtome. And um, the most dangerous part of this microtome, of course, is the microtome knife. It's over here. It looks a little bit like an old-fashioned shaving knife. Essentially, it is one, I, I would say. It's, uh, I'm probably not going to use it a lot, uh, because uh, I'm going to try to work first uh, using um, so the so-called the cutting knives uh, that you use for uh, paper cutters and so on um, and I'm going to kind of save this one for later so I'm gonna put this here to the side a little bit also remove going to remove the, the packaging over here over here we have a clamp this clamp uh, is used to hold the microtome to the table so of course down here you've got a screw and the table is going to be basically yeah, squeezed and clamped in here, okay? And this over here, this part over here is the microtome holder. And there's also a, a fixing screw over here. So that's the... I'm going to move over over here. And over here I have now the main part. And this is now the microtome itself. made of solid metal, I guess it must, must be aluminum metal over here. There is a screw of course down here uh, with uh, divisions and one division is uh, 0 0.01 millimeter. So uh, basically 0 0.01 millimeter that's 10 micrometers. So by turning it uh, one division or one line over here um, I'm actually able to uh, make cuts uh, in 10 micrometers thickness which is uh, the thickness of an average eukaryotic cell. So it's uh, quite nice. And that sends over here, of course, a, a smooth uh, glass plate, glass uh, top. And in here, I have an aluminum cylinder. And this aluminum cylinder, I don't know, how, I guess it's called the piston or something, um, is uh, raised and lowered by turning this part down here. Okay, so the specimen, of course, goes, the specimen of course goes in here in, into the center and by turning it, it it's raised up and then I can use and I can use the microtome knife to cut off sections. So um, yeah there is one last last remaining part over here and that's a brass cylinder. And where could it go? What could be the use of it if you try it out it does not fit in here. So what's the point of this uh, brass cylinder? And I think it's uh, used uh, as a mold um, to make a paraffin uh, blocks. And these paraffin blocks then actually can be put into the center later on and can then be uh, sliced into thin sections. So that's actually a mold or yeah, for casting the paraffin blocks. Yeah, so that's basically uh, the micro microtome that I wanted to show you. I'm quite satisfied with it. Um, I have not tried it out yet. The problem that I'm going to have is I do not really want to make any paraffin blocks so I somehow have to find a way to hold the plant material in place in the center here without actually uh, putting it first in the paraffin so I'm, I'm, I'm going to experiment around a little bit with that. Um, yeah, I, as I said, uh, I ordered the microtome over eBay from a, uh, from a shop nearby. It's a new microtome and it cost me around 80 euros was actually quite, uh, yeah, it was not actually one of the cheaper ones um, available. Um, but still I'm, I'm very satisfied, at least to the, on the outside it looks quite nice. Um, the only disadvantage is that it's there is no clamp inside here to hold the specimen. There are some other microtomes available where you have a screw on the side and you're able to clamp in the specimen into the center. 
Um, now this is not possible with this one. This one is designed to be used for paraffin with paraffin blocks. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to be able to, yeah, I have to improvise a little bit now and I'm going to try to, to do it in a different way. So somehow I have to find a way to, maybe I'm going to use some um, some foam material or whatever to wrap the specimen in here. I'll, I'll see. Or what I, another thing that I can do is I can try to cut a carrot. Um, carrots are actually also quite uh, commonly used. What you do is you cut a carrot and then you use the carrot itself as a holder for the specimen. So maybe if I'm, I'm able to use this as a, I don't know, to cut out different round pieces of carrot to then place into the um, into the center here. Yeah, and I'm gonna try this out and I'm going to um, show you how the microtome is used in a different uh, video episode. I hope I've given you now a little overview over the microtome. Yeah, and um, I'm gonna see you later. So, and I'm going to put everything back nicely and close the box.